Hello everyone, it's Violet Moon and welcome back to another video. Sorry if my voice is a little weird, I actually just got up, but I really, really, really needed to tell you this amazing news. I have adopted a Mustang. I know this might come as a surprise to a lot of you, and honestly, I wasn't really expecting it either. One of my friends told me about the Adopt a Mustang program a few months ago and made me curious, so I went on the website and read some more information about Mustangs and the requirements to have one, and I have come to the decision that I'm going to adopt and train a wild Mustang. So believe it or not, this has actually been a really, really long process, and I have been working through this process for quite a while now. I the first step, obviously, was to check the website, read the website, see what the requirements were to adopt a Mustang, and basically learn about them, because I didn't know much about Mustangs before going into this. After doing all of that, I had to send in a pre-application, and the pre-application was basically just to show and prove that I meet the requirements to adopt a Mustang. After my pre-application got approved, I had to send in a formal application, which actually just got approved last night. And this formal application just said everything. Why I want a Mustang, and, you know, why I want a Mustang, all the requirements I meet, and, you know, just making sure that a Mustang would be a good fit for me. This got approved last night, and I'm actually going to be flying out this weekend to the auction site to... Uh, bid on a wild Mustang, and hopefully come home with a new horse. Hello everyone. Reminder that Flight 72 will be boarding in 5 minutes. Repeat, Flight 72 will be boarding in 5 minutes. Thank you everyone for flying with Meadowcraft Airlines, and have a wonderful stay. Hey guys, it's Violet. Um, it's Friday night and I my plane landed about an hour ago. Um, I checked into my hotel and here I am. I'm currently in my hotel room. You guys are sitting on my bed. Um, yeah, so I'm here and I am, oh my gosh, I am so excited. Ah! So I'm going to be getting my Mustang tomorrow, hopefully hopefully everything goes well um i don't really know exactly what mustang i want yet uh you know just to let you guys on in on a little secret i do want to keep this mustang i am planning on keeping it and hopefully training it in barrel racing or something i think that's something i would really really love to do i i don't know it really depends on who i get and what their personality is on whether or not i will keep them but i would really like to have a barrel racing horse soon i haven't decided if i'm going to do barrel racing or pole bending or maybe even both oh no i'm getting a little ambitious but oh my gosh i'm so excited Okay, well, I think I'm gonna go to bed because the auction is pretty early in the morning. I'm gonna have to leave um, the hotel by 5 a.m. so I can get out to the auction site. And the auction starts at 8 and ends at about 12. Um, technically, it ends at 11, but they said it might go a little bit longer than that. And then by 12, I, I, should, have, I should have a horse, so... I'm so excited and I hope everything goes well. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you in the morning. I woke up just before 5 a.m. and left the hotel by 6 o'clock. Hello everyone! The auction is just about to start and I wanted to check in with all of you. So I woke up pretty early and then my friend picked me up from the hotel and brought me here to the auction site. We arrived probably um, about a quarter after seven. I might be wrong, but I think that's when we arrived. Um, and then I took a look at all the horses and there are some that I'm interested in. <laughs> it's this really, really pretty buckskin, which is actually in the pen right behind me. 
and I really like this one, but I think he's probably going to go for a little out of my price range, so I do have a backup horse in mind. There's actually two horses that I have in mind, and I really like both of them, <laughs> uh, but I only want one horse. I really don't want to get two horses. Could I fit two horses in my pasture? Probably. Should I fit two horses in my pasture? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick with one horse. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. If, if one of them is having a hard time getting adopted, then I might just get both of them. But we'll see what happens. The first horse that was bid off was the buckskin and I did bid on him, but unfortunately he did go out of my price range just like I thought he would. The next horses that were auctioned off are these ones that you are seeing in the pens now. Um, the black horse in the back uh, didn't go for very much, but I didn't really want the black one. I had a different one in mind. The Palomino was actually one of my backup options, but that one got adopted pretty quickly as well. Um, I probably could have gotten her if I had tried hard enough, but I was really set on this other horse that you guys will be seeing in a minute. Hello everyone, so I just got home last night and I haven't vlogged anything yet, but I think I'm ready to do a horse reveal. So I have my horse, she's on the property right now, <laughs> ah! she's on the property right now, and I'm finally ready to tell you guys what horse I got. Here I am in front of my horse's pen, and as you can see, this is the horse I adopted. She is a blue roan and she is a mare. Um, she is four years old. Yeah, I have a Mustang, which is absolutely insane. And I don't, it's insane. And I am so, I can't believe this is happening. Um, yeah, so her training is going to start shortly. I want to wait till she's situated and used to her pen before I start her training. Probably going to start her training in a couple weeks. And I'm going to take it very slow. Um, the majority of what I'm going to be doing is just getting her used to me. Uh, getting her to the point where we can, um, where we can get her feet done and where, you know, she can get vaccinations and all of that. We're just going to get her used to people and get her more tame. And then once we do that, I'm going to start her training. And I have decided that she is going to be a pole bending horse. Um, I don't know for sure. That's not final, but that is what I'm thinking about. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Um, I will do an update video on her soon. So for those of you asking, no, she does not actually have a name yet because I don't really know what to name her. So if you guys have any ideas for what I should name her, let me know in the comments uh, because she needs a name. I can't just keep calling her the Mustang or the Blue Roan. I want her to have a name. So let me know in the comments what you guys think I should name her. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that's been going on over the last couple months and i guess i will see you guys and i guess i will see you guys in the next video bye everyone